Oh my gosh, look at you. What kind of an intake system do you think you are? The long hose, the enclosure, how are you even breathing? Well, today we're gonna be fixing that by installing the Vera Ram Air Grabber intake system into this Dodge Ram here. We're gonna be unleashing the true power of your vehicle, improving the fuel economy, but first, we're gonna need some help. Corey! Ah! What? the heck just happened? Anyway, I'm Kyle from Midwest Aftermarket, and let's install this thing. How did you do that? Before you start, you should disconnect the negative battery cable and at least leave that disconnected for a couple of hours. This is going to be a very simple install. You're just going to need a few tools for this. First of all, you're going to need a long flathead screwdriver, this ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket, and a knife. So if somebody attacks you while you're installing it, you can defend yourself. All right, let's get going. Step one, very simple. You're just gonna be removing the air temperature sensor. That's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. You're gonna squeeze and pull. Should be a tab there at the bottom. And there we go. Look at that, you're already a mechanic. Next, we're gonna be loosening up the hose clamp. Oh yeah, come on, Corey. You work with that dirty hose clamp. Talk about hose management. Next, we're gonna be removing the hose. Yeah, Corey. Oh, man. Now, Corey made that look easy with his big, strong muscles. It might take just a little bit of doing. Get that out of there. Yeah, throw, throw it away. Come on, ah! Nobody wants you in here. Come on, get out of here. Next, quite possibly the most difficult thing you're ever going to do, removing the oil cap. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. After you do that, you're just going to be lifting that beautiful cover off there. Come on, yeah. Going to remove the fan shroud cover. You're going to do that by taking the flat head and popping all the clips in place. Here we go. This is going to be fun. Pop it. Come on, yeah. Come on, Corey. Like it said something about your mother. Pop it. Next, we're gonna be removing this long tube here. There you go, Corey. Yeah, wrestle around with that big old long tube. Then we're gonna be taking the elbow off right here. Now we're gonna be using the included filter that came with it and the elbow that we just removed. We're gonna be placing the filter on there using the hose clamp and the flat head to tighten that down. Once the hose clamp is tightened down and the filter is on there, we're just gonna be popping the elbow back on with that nice, clean, sweet air. Oh yeah, just like grandma's cookies. Next, we're gonna be installing the wing into the intake here. We're gonna be doing it very simply by popping all three of those through the holes. You're gonna be using the screws included here and a Phillips head to tighten those bad boys on. Hot, tightening action. Now we're going to be just removing the mass airflow sensor from the old intake by twisting and pulling. Ah, now inserting it into the new hose and of course that little hole that's already there. Work it in, Corey. Work it into the hole. 
Now we're just going to be putting the coupler on the bottom side of the intake, sliding that on so it fits real nice. And we're going to tighten it. Now we're going to be putting everything back in and we're going to be lining up the coupler with the throttle body. Now we're just going to be tightening the hose clamp. Next we're just going to be connecting the mass airflow sensor. Don't want to forget about this step. Your truck will explode. <laughs> and probably not, but it might. And that is going to do it for the installation of the Veriram Air Grabber Intake System. Now, if you'd like to pick one of these bad boys up, you can do so at MidwestAftermarket.com or, as always, pick up the phone and give us a call. I, oh, what? What? No! How, how did he do it again? Did you, did you see how he did it? I'm Kyle at Midwest Aftermarket, and we'll see you next time. What? Corey! Corey! Corey!